By 2020, computer chips will cost about a penny. That's the cost of scrap paper. So we now know the future of the computer. The future of the computer will be everywhere and nowhere, hidden in the walls, hidden in the fabric of our life, just like electricity is, everywhere and nowhere. These are glasses that have full internet capability. You can download any website, any movie, do emails from these things, and they will also recognize people's faces. How many times have you bumped into somebody on the street and you say to yourself, who is this person? Jim, John, Jake, I know, I know this person. In the future, your glasses will say, it's Jim, stupid, remember? <laughs> you met him last week. Do you want to see his entire biography for you in your glasses? And let's say you're at a cocktail party. You're looking for a job and you don't know who the heavy hitters are. In the future, you will know exactly who to suck up to at any cocktail party. <laughs> Well, let's say you don't want to look like a refugee from Star Trek. In the future, glasses will be fashionable with full internet capability. They can be flashed directly into the retina of your eye. They can be flashed right onto the screen of your glasses or used as like a jeweler's lens as an attachment to your glasses. Fashion models will be wearing these things. Young people will demand to have full internet capability, any video, any, any movie, any website, any music, downloaded via your glasses. Now you may say to yourself, wait a minute, maybe I don't wear glasses. No problem, in the future, they'll be in your contact lenses. And as you go from room to room, the files move with you. Your files are more important than the computer. The computer only costs a few pennies after all. In fact, when you go shopping, today you have a barcode whenever you buy something. In the future, instead of having a barcode, it'll have a chip. The chip will cost less than the barcode of the future. And there'll be chips scattered throughout your bathroom, which will analyze DNA. How do I know this? Because my friends are building these chips. They're called DNA chips. Chips that allow you to scan DNA within a matter of minutes. So even as you're going to the bathroom, combing your hair, what have you, your bathroom is giving you a complete medical examination. And we now know that DNA is computer tape. Instead of zeros and ones, zeros and ones, zeros and ones, we have ATCG, ATCG. And we can read computer tape just like we read DNA. So how will we do it? Every time you blow in a glass, you blow in a glass, you leave DNA there. It will sample the DNA and scan for all your genes. I had my genome scanned. Most of my genes have been scanned, put on a CD-ROM, which I then showed to the camera. Realize that you will have this very soon. To have all your genes read today costs $50,000. Within a few years, it'll be down to $1,000. And perhaps in 10 years, it'll be maybe 100 bucks. This is your owner's manual. In your home, you have an owner's manual for your VCR, your iPod, your computer, your TV set. You have an owner's manual for everything except one thing, your body. This will be your owner's manual. And how is it possible? Because computer power means that we can sequence genes, we can put doctors in touch with each other. It has accelerated medical advances. And now, let me say a few things about artificial intelligence. Well, one day, will we have robots, the robots that we see in science fiction? Well, this is ASIMO. ASIMO is the world's most advanced robot. ASIMO can run, ASIMO can walk, climb up stairs, ASIMO can dance. In fact, ASIMO can dance better than me. I had a chance to meet ASIMO, and the question is, how smart is our most advanced robot? And can these robots even have emotions so that we can bond with them? And the question is, well, one day, will they become smarter than us? Well, one day they put us in zoos and throw peanuts at us and make us dance behind bars? Well, let me tell you a secret. Japan's population is the fastest aging population on Earth. They have very few young people. They have a lot of old people. These are future robot nurses. That's why Japan is spending so much money building robots. That's the future of nursing. However, in the coming decades, as robots get smarter, perhaps they'll be as smart as a mouse. 
eventually as smart as a dog or a cat. And then decades after that, maybe as smart as a monkey. At that point, I think we should put a chip in their brain to shut them off if they start to get murderous thoughts. Invisibility. Believe it or not, we physicists believe that invisibility is possible. We flew down to, we flew down to uh, Duke University and we filmed the world's first microwave invisibility device. It'll make an object invisible to microwaves and we went to Berkeley where they can actually now do it for visible light. Metamaterials allows us to bend microwave radiations around an object just like water flows around a boulder. If you were downstream from a boulder, you don't know that there is a boulder upstream. That works for microwaves and at Berkeley and Caltech on a microscopic scale, they showed that it works for visible light as well. And believe it or not, telepathy is coming faster than you think. This is Brown University, where we have a stroke victim on the lower right. He is paralyzed. He cannot move. He cannot communicate with his loved ones. He is a quadriplegic, a stroke victim. On the upper left is a chip. They put the chip in his brain, shown on the lower left. You can see the dot where the chip is placed. You hook up that chip to a laptop. That person, who is now totally paralyzed, can now read emails, surf the web, answer emails, do crossword puzzles, do everything you can do on a computer, except this person happens to be paralyzed. This means that in the future, you may want to simply communicate with the web by thinking about it. We can also use this technology, by the way. This is how it works, by the way. He's allowed to see the laptop. You see the connection on the right, an electrode that connects to a laptop computer, the world's first direct link between the human mind and a computer. 